everybody we are back all right the sub goal <laughs> fucked up let me change that eh, i'll change it in good time um but yeah we actually have 51 out of the 100 subs thank you biscuit for your generous donations to our community really do appreciate it uh screw you for wanting to put me in a cat outfit but hey whatever uh that's the internet right i make an ass of myself so i can make a living on here works out um of course if you're watching this this is the second part of our session so be sure to pay attention to what's going on and go back and watch the first one if you've already missed out on this everything should be organized and inside of a playlist so i believe that's going to be everything from me more or less Ooh, i gotta change that around i'll do that after the stream uh yeah let's jump into the game Boop. i knew it i knew it would fuck up when you turn off your webcam, it moved you to the bottom and moved everybody with webcams on up. So it deformed the layout. How dare you? It's okay. It's an easy fix. Look at oh, that. I fixed it. <sighs> How dare you? Okay. That, that's a thing now. So... You're all beginning to travel through the open landscape inside of the Leolis territory, moving around some of the mountain's edges and feeling it start to form and shape and curve very beautifully. It's cold here. A lot more cold than many of you are used to, but tolerable. You feel the gusts of wind blowing through the canyon-like valley that you're all walking through. And whenever that does happen, those of you who did not bundle up as nicely immediately get hit with that frigid, frigid chill all the way up your spine. Who here has uh, cold weather clothing? Alondo, you don't need it. I have no clothing. You have pants. Other than my shorts, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You probably had to zip your uh, your pant legs back to your shorts. You're oh, entering yeah. in here, yeah. Because you're a classy guy. <laughs> I'm that cool kid from the '90s. Awesome. You've got you've got uh, tear off cargo shorts. You know. I honestly. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I was gonna say. I think I have cold resistance. Oh, then you're chilling. Yeah. Oh yeah, you live in the ocean. You're fine. Alondo is cold. fine. Nobu, do you have winter clothing? Sebastian, do you have winter clothing? I don't have it written down. I thought I remembered something about having a coat or something. Is it on your character sheet? No. No, you don't. I have thick clothes and fur. You're also in a bag of holding, so you're chilling. Not the bad way like everybody else is. So Nobu has a coat because we bought one first session. Is it on your character sheet? That's what I'm asking. No, because I didn't really think too much about it. But remember, we went to that place and we bought that coat because I was wearing Reyna's yeah. coat. Nobu so was... you and Reyna have a coat. Yeah. Sebastian apparently does not have a coat. Apparently Sebast not. Sebastian's the only one who's going to be... Uh, little chilly everybody when you buy something add it to your character sheet i usually do yeah so as you're walking through the vast canyons and landscape alondo give me that survival check buddy i feel like this is a good time for a game advantage I was going to say assistance, but okay. That hurts. Yeah, guys, it's just this way. This this way? If Midas here. <laughs> <laughs> if Morian's in the south. Yeah, yeah. And Midas <laughs> here. 
going that way. <laughs> and the sun rises in the north. <laughs> this way. Yep. <laughs> You're all following good old Palando. I'm holding a gold coin going, my compass isn't working. <laughs> Uh, there's a, a little sp- uh, the little like tin can speaker from Moose's bag goes somebody else take the bag Nobu will grab the bag wow I'm gonna make a perception check to see who grabbed the bag do it Based on the loose-natured swaying and the way that it ever so gently bumps against rocks as he doesn't wear it as a satchel but just swings it side to side, it's it's Nobu. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. <laughs> You're ruining everything. Just swing it back. And... The China? It's a fall. <laughs> Moose, I'm so sorry. I'm going to let Moose out of the bag. I am not the thing in need of help. <laughs> I don't know. I hurt my He's feet. holding broken bits of teacups. <laughs> my china. <laughs> oh, I, I'm i going to close the bag. I don't know how to deal with this. Nobody's not good with emotional support. <laughs> you, fuck. Moose has been on a roller coaster of emotion within five minutes. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. I'm gonna fashion daggers out of this to stab you one day. What? Oh, what <laughs> are we waving at? Ulrich oh, looks angry. back at all of you. Hey, Blondo. Yeah. Are we heading the right direction? Yeah. What direction is Leolis? It's a uh, cardinal direction. Weast? Ooh, that's my favorite direction. Weast. <laughs> West, east. <laughs> He's going to incite you. Oh. <sighs> We're all going to die up here. One. We're all going to die up here, aren't we? Yeah. Direction. You. He looks back at you. Hey. I got important things to get back to. I'm not dying for you guys. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I, I added a you all. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. I would die for you. And I try to hug him. Moose or him? Anybody. But I'm going to try and hug Ulrich. Nobu will give you a hug. <laughs> oh, you go towards hug. Ulrich, Nobu intercedes. <laughs> Get down, Mr. Uh, President. It doesn't cast a hug unless it lasts 10 seconds. One. Nobody hugs. Hot? Me. I never thought I'd see a lover squabble about this. <coughs> so yeah. Adeen, please pick up my pack. I don't trust either of these at the moment. Uh, Adeen will reach down and just kind of very gently take the bag and smile at Noble. Adeen, have you seen my fish? Uh, is that you carry a fish with you? There's an empty bowl on his back. Oh. Jero, can fish I sense bowl. if there are any fish around? Roll me a perception check. Okay. Not 20. Not 20. You found the elusive rockfish. <laughs> dirt in this? In any way? What? <laughs> can I assist her to look for a fish? Sure. Uh. <laughs> You have advantage. Okay, so I'll roll again. Yep. Eighteen. There are no fish in sight anywhere near you. 
Because you are a person, not a fish. Nobu, I'm sorry to tell you that there are no fish near us. Nobu's gonna get really sad. And just keep following. But that doesn't mean he's not out there somewhere. I have faith we'll find him. Ulrich, where's the last place you saw uh, Gary? In your door frame. What? Why would he be there? You're saying he walked out the door? Nobu, how many rocks do you count? Yeah, since I'm measuring. We, there was 192. He's no. asking for your. He's asking for your weight. Oh, oh. Let's see. Here. Thanks for understanding that reference, Moose. It's actually stone. Yeah, but. One hundred and sixty-six pounds wet. My mommy says it's the perfect weight for a boy my age. A little chubby for your height. I'm six one. A little chubby for your height. <laughs> Nobody's going to get real self-conscious. <laughs> <sighs> I am keeping an eye out. Thank you. Roll a perception check. I almost said I almost went for persuasion. Please don't murder me. <laughs> well, that is his uh, second reaction. <laughs> his third reaction is murder. Crap bomb. Please don't murder me. <laughs> Uh, right. Unnatural 20. Dirty 20. You're looking around the peaks very carefully. And you notice a looming shadow just passes over you and your allies. You're roughly about five hours into walking at this point. I'm going to look up. Do I see anything that would cast a shadow? There's mountains, but mountains don't move. <laughs> I'm going to uh, going to get fully out of the bag. Mm -hmm. Um, as a statement again, Athena is um, semi heavily armored. Adine? Yeah, I don't remember if she's a. Uh, uh, her description was tan pants, uh, tan shirt. White shirt. White shirt, tan pants. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you want a reference, uh, think of uh, the mummy. I was gonna say peasant, but okay. No, no, no. It's nicer than that. Brendan Fraser's outfit. Brendan oh. Fraser from the mummy. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, you have to say Brendan Fraser's mummy. If you just say the mummy, I think of the monster. <laughs> so I was like, "You're a hobo." <laughs> just... <laughs> You're a burn victim. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Hey, know that. What? So, and she has no relation to Nathan Gale. And Not that anybody knows. I mean, my God, we gotta figure this out. All right. Um, she's a Triton. He's a human. Kind of different. Well, it's just human. I fuck the fish. Yep, that's how that works. Uh, technically, it's off. It's off Gale. So, yeah. That's kind of even more of a thing. It's of Gale. Anyway, um, I'm going to say I saw something. Cast a shadow over us. Probably big. Either that or really close to the sun. Like the clouds? I'm going to look. Do the clouds seem thick enough to cast a noticeable shadow? 
Roll me a uh, nature check. Oh, great. Oh, I actually have proficiency in this. Low average, though. Fifteen. Like Fifteen. <clears throat> so... The clouds, some of them are thick enough to cast a shadow, but the way it moved was a bit too quickly just to be a shadow of a cloud. All right. It wasn't like a run, but it was like a passing. I'm going to uh, whisper to Adin, uh, what are your survival instincts? Um, I mean, what do you mean by that? All right, he moves over to a different person. Uh, Palando, he he walks, he trots up to you and tosses a small vial towards you, which is more of up into the air for you to catch. What's this? Makes you faster. Oh, cool. It's for how long? Up, an hour. Pops over to uh, Nobu. Hey, are we back on speaking terms? I'm sorry about the cloud thing earlier and the bag and the china. Be thankful I'm doing this. He he starts like patting you on the leg. Aww. It's about a minute later. I cast a spell. Mm -hmm. Gift of alacrity. Gonna D8 your initiative. Thank you, Moose. My leg feels faster than ever. Yes, you're gonna need it. Um, something passed over us. I am horrifyingly uh, anticipant of what's gonna happen. Hmm. You said something passed over us? Yes. Everybody hide. Wait, do you want me to get its attention? Stealth no. checks. Everybody <laughs> hide. I was concerned for a second, but no, it's just a cat. You can see it in the corner. I said everybody hide! He screams. <laughs> right. Oh, Moose. <laughs> in, in dead silence, the pitter-patter of my steps. <laughs> pit-pat, pit-pat, dives into snow, only goes halfway in. <laughs> Feet kicking. <laughs> yep. Uh, one of those things. Play dead. Already. Okay. You all hear very hefty footsteps approaching. There's a shaking of the ground around you. As Moose is now stuck three-fourths of the way in a pile of snow. Everybody else scattered, fleeing to different areas and trying their best to stay out of sight. Blondo and Moose, you feel the vibrations of the hefty footsteps approaching. Can I, can I dig into the snow and then reposition so I have my eyes sticking out? Go for it. You can attempt. Roll me a oh, okay. uh, athletics check. Oh, I did not mean to press cancel. You're trying, all right. You are trying. Polando. From the other side of the ridge, you see three tall and powerfully built goliaths. These 
are the Maltini. They are worshippers of a frost giant and live inside of this mountain range. Their arms look like the arms of apes by comparison. Have I ever run into them before or do I just know of them? You know of them. Okay. Um, in that case, I will step out from my hiding spot and just, oh, hey, how's it going? One of them looks over at you. Uragda. Anybody understand giant? How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Hungry. Oh, well, I've got a couple rations I could spare. And I'll pull some out and give them to him. Right. As you begin approaching, you see that a couple of the other ones kind of like move to the sides of this one. And one reaches over towards Moose and pulls his leg out of the snow. Holding him <laughs> upside down. Moose screams in beast speech. <laughs> no, you will never have me. <laughs> oh, th that's my friend. Thanks for helping him out. Roll persuasion, Palondo. <laughs> You're such a nice guy. <laughs> you know what? Oh, your friend. He like hands him down to you, Palondo. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Sure. What are you guys doing out here? Hunting. Find anything yet? They look at each other, and then they look at Moose. No, no, not him. Uh, He's too small for you all anyways. I mean, if there's more. <laughs> Moose crawls up to uh, just like nestle between uh, uh, Palando's shoulder and chin and is hissing at them. It looks angry. Well, yeah, he, he knows you want to eat him. He can understand you. Oh. Duragda. He says towards you, Moose, and you don't understand it? Uh, <laughs> Moose says in Halfling, you understand this? They respond in perfect Halfling, oh yeah, we do. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, you speak Halfling. Oh, you speak Halfling? Yeah, oh, this is way easier. Oh yeah, totally. How's it going, guys? Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're doing a bunch of hunting. Uh, sorry, we thought you were a uh, a dire rat. Uh, so, you know, when there's I one, clothes. I mean, people get into some weird stuff, man. You ever meet those people who put outfits on their dogs? I mean, I consider that like borderline animal abuse. I mean, is it a hairless dog? What is a hairless dog? People make, people make weird dogs. Yeah, people are weird. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, people are weird. <laughs> Everyone so else is just listening as you three are talking in a uh, halfling right now. Oh yeah, I'm Palando. This is Moose, Hello. and this is the rest of our group. Guys, come on out. All right, step out. Hello. They continue speaking in halfling. Hey, how's it going? Everyone else, it sounds like Edoma. Who da da? Moose is gonna act as a translator again. <laughs> Iggy Baba. Yeah, halfling is literally st stitch speak. Um. <laughs> wow, the shy just got a lot weirder. Hey, do you guys know which way Leolis is? Oh, that shitty place. Oh, hate it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's that way. You start playing the trumpet. That's how Nobu comes out. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> Roll me a d20, see what happens. <laughs> nah, one, you get hit. 
An eight. That's a lucky number. Okay. It's not cool to play your own fanfare. <laughs> That's what he always does. So as you... Bah, 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 one of the Goliaths leaps over Palando, jumping about 40 feet, and crushes your trumpet in its hand. What? No. No. He looks, said no. <laughs> looks back at you, Palando. Dude, did you not tell him about the avalanches? The who? Avalanches. Moose goes off. A natural phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll bring snow down on us if you do that shit. I've never seen snow. Yeah, he gestures around all around himself. <laughs> oh, wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, but not when you're getting overrun like a crashing wave with it. Have you ever tried to drown yourself? No. Maybe you think should. that, but colder. That's just a strictly worse experience. Damn. Well, I'm going to need a new trumpet. Oh. Oh. He, like, takes it and tries expanding it and then kind of just, like, bink, breaks it in half. Oh. Oh. I guess we're going to have to go back to your camp. We're going to have to get this fixed. <laughs> Moose walks over to you and is like, excuse me, sorry, coming through. Just past the past the Goliath guy. Crawls up uh, crawls up Nobu. Just like he does that like frustrated walk, you know, the one slightly hunched over, scowling. I think it only just us if we go to that. Like he's doing that down your shoulder <laughs> and walks uh, walks down your hand. And just snatch, snatches the remains of the trumpet out of your hand. Thank you, Moose. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we could head to their camp, guys, and they'll get us a new trumpet. Oh, do you guys not have a camp nearby? No, we're not from the mountains. Oh, oh, we're, you, we're you definitely. Oh, uh, that place sucks. Um, assuming Moose is still translating. Uh, you don't want to be out here at nighttime by yourselves. Uh, we've been having, uh, what are they called? Um, the naked wolves attacking. They're vicious. Naked wolves? Yeah, it's kind of like a winter wolf, but it's naked and looks kind of dead. It's a hairless dog? It's a wolf, not a dog. Oh. Dogs are cute. Wolves are also cute. But different cute. Well, I think we still have a little ways to go to get to our destination. Do you all want to stay at our camp? Do you mind? Do you have a bar I can play at? No. Uh, Do you all have alcohol? Just... <laughs> uh... Moose almost rotates oh. his head upside down to look at you. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> uh, someone may. I'm not too worried about it. But if you're out on hunting, don't you have to finish that up before heading back? Oh, yeah. We will. But you are travelers. We don't want you to die. Hey, that's mighty nice of you. Yeah. Um, and also, I we don't want other hunting party to think... That one is food. Points at Moose. We really right, appreciate um, that. Thank you. Uh, sorry I hissed at you. I thought you knew what I was. I have no idea what you are, but you're very nice. Thank you. And uh, he holds out a finger that's roughly the size of three-fourths of your body towards you. He uh, grabs it with both hands and just up and down, up and down. <laughs> Um, he's going. He's also going to say, "I did see something fly overhead." Oh, that's us. We're big. Uh, yeah, the jumpy jump. Yeah, that's how we travel. And when you look at them, they kind of have like a bodybuilder body, which is their arms are way too fucking big, and their legs look kind of normal, like a little big, but kind of normal. I'm just thinking of the fucking tank from Left 4 Dead. Yes! But Goliath form. So the tank from Left 4 Dead. 
Is that one also not food? Points at Adin. Yeah, that's also a friend of mine. Okay. Adin waves. Uh. All right, come on, everybody. And they just start like jumping through the snow very easily. Did we get directions? No, they're taking you over to their camp. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stay with them yeah. tonight. Yeah, since it's gonna take uh, you longer than one night to get there. They don't want you to die to the uh, hairless wolves. I shall call them skin dogs. That's a terrifying name. But anyways. Skin hound. That's a good one. Anyways. Unless they eat. Yeah, you got a point. But anyways. You all continue traveling. Making your way through the mountains. Walking fast. Do 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 do. You get over towards the side of one of these larger uh, cliffs in the mountain and the two goliaths go over and grab against the wall and just start ripping and grinding the stone and you see it's kind of like a boulder that was pushed on top of a hole and as it opens up uh, they gesture after all of you do I need a dark. sign that says don't eat me uh no if we were going to eat you, we'd kill you before bringing you in. Yeah, see, they're nice. You're dark. Yeah, they seem very nice. And if you're worried, you could just get inside the bag. There is a little bit of fire in there. Oh, okay. Hmm? <laughs> the bag! <laughs> you jump in your bag? No, you said there's a little bit of fire in there. So <laughs> no, not... Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. So... You walk into this cliffside little tiny tribe of Goliaths. Um, as you get in there, you look around, and it's about 35, 40 feet tall in here. It expands outwards for about 90 to 100 feet or so before it starts curving like there's different places. Um, and as you move in here, you look through, and you see more traditional goliaths not mountini um mountini are the hunters of the mountainous goliaths um these ones look to be more traditional ones that you would see in and around towns uh they have more normalized body shapes about them as they look around and go oh hey how's it going it's good nice to meet you uh, you too. Uh, what's your name? I'm Palando, and I'm going to take the time to introduce everybody in our group. Oh. I am Moose. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Um, Does he react to me? Oh, he just shakes your hand. Right. Cool. Okay. I have uh, no probably read about me in the sky. No, we don't look at the sky much. Oh, well, what Moose. happened here tonight? <laughs> Moose is going to look at you again. Hit you right in the sky again. Yeah, Nobu Mori concert at the Giants camp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everyone is still speaking halfling, I believe. Oh no, this new one is speaking perfect common. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Sir, on it. Oh. Uh. No, uh, my name's Beans, by the way. Beans, that's a, that's a... Hello, Beans. Good to meet you. Uh, so, uh, I guess we're housing them for the night? Yeah, you know, they're traveling up to Leo List, so we figured we'd give them a little bit of shelter. Oh. They're nice folk. Are you sure they're not trying to kill us? No, they're really nice. I mean, look at his I'm face. i look at him. They look at Polando and he's just hi. <laughs> hey guys. That is not the face of a killer. We be friends. <laughs> Moose looks at them. You are approximately one fortieth of my size. Uh, you are approximately one forty times my size. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Size doesn't always matter. I could stab about one inch. 
to your skin. Yeah, that would really hurt. What that kill? It hurt a lot. That's fair. But don't also, worry. They seem like nice people. Just don't. Yeah. Is there anything Somebody we can else? do uh, in exchange for you all letting us stay here tonight? Anything to help out with? Oh, if you have some extra food. I gave them always... a couple of my rations, but I might have a bit more. Two rations is enough to feed one of them. One meal. <laughs> uh, if not, I mean, it's okay. We just don't really have any extra food to share. You know, with the taxes and all. What taxes? Oh, Vos Carvin's taxes. Oh, I think she calls it, I allow you peasants to exist text. Hmm. That's nice yeah. you get to live. Yeah, I agree. I was just going to look around. Is there anything that needs fixing? Uh, inside of here, like some of the walls are cracked and such, but you haven't moved further in where the actual rooms are yet. They're still like, this is, is like their version of interrogation. Oh, it's all stone in here. But this is their version of interrogation. You know, they're, they're trying to get a feel for everybody. So uh, uh, we have to ask, have any of you ever killed someone? I have not. I haven't. Only in self-defense. Roll a deception check. No, oh, no, you actually didn't. It hasn't. Yeah, that was... He punched yeah. somebody. No, no. No, he killed that guy. I knocked someone out. I made sure it was non-lethal. Nobody would never kill someone. I don't remember. Well, who killed the other guy? I killed one, and then I thought you killed the other. Hi. Moose. Oh, that was Moose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The one you least expect. Moose. <laughs> well, to be fair, it was a ranged attack, and I was kind of floating into the sky. <laughs> Just the fucking uh, DuckTales uh, moon theme. Yep, yep. Well, yeah, if you, uh... Wait, you killed someone in self-defense? Oh, that must have been really rough to have to deal with. What happened? Well, we got attacked by bandits, and so I attacked back, and apparently they're a lot weaker than I thought. So you killed them on accident? Or did you intend on killing them? I intended to stop them from attacking me. I didn't think that I was going to kill them in one hit, but it happened. Uh, Moose speaks up. At the time, I was floating into the sky. I <laughs> He holds out like a crossbow. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, you could have just hurt him up a little bit. Just because you have strength doesn't mean you have to use it. Oh my god, I love you guys. Write that down, that's a song. <laughs> I am not uh, fixing your trumpet. They say as creatures with easily 20 strengths. <laughs> and the only thing they do is use that strength. No, no, they, they, they've been very nice. I did, you know what I fucking meant. Mr. Gorilla jumped through the sky. Yeah. Nobody got hurt. So, oh, uh... That's really... I mean... Do you mind leaving your weapons at the door? Mm, that's fine. Okay. I feel safe in here. Okay, good. I think well, everyone else would feel safer if the murderer didn't have a weapon. I know I would. <laughs> Moose walks to the door. Let's see. <laughs> Knife, crossbow, light, bolts. Takes out a screwdriver. For you, that is a weapon. <laughs> you mind if I keep this? Um, he take he like he pokes his finger against the top. Yeah, that's not sharp. Okay, cool. I'm going to lean up against the Goliath and go, <laughs> I can't really take my hands off. 
<laughs> he looks down at you. Well, why would we do that? That would be mean. Uh, they're my weapons. I don't actually use weapons. I just punch people. Oh. Oh, so do we. Nice. High five. <laughs> Give me an athletics check. Oh, God. <laughs> High five. Oh, no. <laughs> you go flying and, like, smack against the wall a little bit, like... <gasps> Uh oh, I, I thought you were stronger. You said you use it as your weapon. Uh, sorry, I <clears throat> I very accurately punch people in bad places. <laughs> I have seen him. Uh, <coughs> I have seen him punch someone in the nose once. Every Goliath in the room covers their groin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. You know, you can take a man down pretty easily. You get him to get shot to the rod. Uh, so, how about the rest of you? Any weapons? No, just my hammer and a couple javelins. Just this, and you know, hold up a dagger. You have no other weapons on you? Yeah, I think I just have that one th weapon option, the dagger, right? Or do I have a rapier? Oh, I imagine you have like six weapons on you. Or that you could have on you. Yeah, just the dagger. Yep. That is terrifying. Oh, I do have a hand axe. I'll, I'll set that aside. <laughs> this is a family made, <laughs> and I don't think my mom would appreciate me putting it away somewhere. Oh, if it makes you feel safer, I can put it in our safe. Oh, that would make me feel better. Okay, come on over with me. Uh, everyone else. Root knife. Oh, that looks really sharp. And I use it for cooking. Everyone else, can you uh, can you follow uh, that there uh, artisan? They point at the big guy. And uh, I'll take your friend over to the vault so he can put his weapon in there, okay? Cool. We'll see you inside, Nobu. See you. Good. I'll be safe, hopefully. He seems nice and not steely. Reyna will come with you. Thank God. Um, when I'm looking around. Yeah. What sort of living accommodations do they have? So as you walk deeper <coughs> into this area, excuse me, everybody. You see that they have makeshift caves inside of this cave uh, in order to make their own little homes, their hobbles. Uh, some of them have wooden doors over them. Other ones have stone doors. Um, it seems like it was chiseled out by these people over a long period of time in order to live here. Hmm. But you get maybe five or six people who peek outside of their little homes to look at you all. And uh, Artisan will just smile at them. Oh, it's fine, everybody. They're just going to be guests. It's not an issue. I'm going to wave at people. You get a handful of them who wave back, and then there's even more that just hide. Very skittish of your group. I think this is your fault, Moose. Gonna look at Sebastian. So, you continue walking through until you find a uh, a little bit of a larger opening down here. You've walked through a system of tunnels at this point to get to this point. Um, and as you get into this larger opening, Artisan looks at all of you. Alrighty, so uh, I think you can set up here. In halfling still. Cool. That'd be great. Okay. He says we can sit up here for the night, guys. All right. Cool. All right. Yep. Uh, just find yourself a nice soft patch of uh, stone that you want to lay on, and yeah, it's all yours. Sorry, we don't have anything a bit more accommodating, but uh, you know, basic um... needs and essentials. 
Are there any, like, things we can make a, a fire with, or is that a bad idea in the cave? Oh no, is we have fire? ventilation. Alright, just making this sure. This is gonna look up like, what the fuck? Do you have dark vision, Moose? Uh, no. Okay. You look up and you can barely see that there's a ceiling. I was just gonna look at him. Is there anything that needs to be fixed? Oh. Um, what do you mean? Like the political infrastructure that we have here inside of Carvin's Peaks? Yeah. No, like stuff. Like oh, the like economical a... infrastructure. Oh, that's that one's also a little rough. I fix stuff, not like objects. Yes. Hey. Okay. Oh no, I can ask around and see if anybody has anything that needs fixing up. Um. Ooh, I actually have a little banjo uh, that I got from my really good friend Steve-O. Would you be able to fix the strings? That's easy. Wonderful. I'll go get it for you. And he just whoosh, leaps, bounds, makes his way over. It's a big cave. So we gotta help Moose. And after we finish helping Moose, I gotta help Adine. And then after we're done with Adine, we gotta come back here and help them fix the political infrastructure. Overthrow the government. I'm gonna start a fire. <laughs> Baby steps. <laughs> we got big picture, fire. and then we have. Let's get a fire going first. First, we get a fire, and then we get pyromaniac. What'd you say, Adine? I was gonna say, Gerald. What's it? Um, what's it look like in this cave? Like, are there any cool cave drawings or anything? Um, not in this open area that you find yourself in. Uh, but roll me a perception check. Nineteen. You looked into a couple of the hobbles that people are living inside of, and yeah, there's a lot of uh, etchings on their walls, but it seems to be in their personal quarters, not out in the open. Do I see someone in one of these huts, or are they all empty, or these houses? All of these are houses, and all of them are occupied. More or less. There's a few of them probably without people, but yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and get my bedroll out and get settled in. I'm pretty close to the fire that Seabass is making. Still going with that one. All right. So who likes it? So you snuggle up closer to the fire. Uh, speaking of Nobu, Nobu, you walk with this individual, Beans, for a period of time. You went left when everybody else kept going straight, and you've walked through a different set of tunnels with these larger set buildings in them. Uh, these ones are much more defined, uh, much more well-constructed and seem like they've been here longer, though they are mostly smaller. Um, and as you get further into this area, you do see that there is one structure that's kind of like a stone-made teepee of sorts. And Beans keeps walking with you. So, uh, what business you got uh, over in Leolis? Hmm? I'm a performer. And they're taking me on tour. Oh, that's really cool. What do you play? Uh, the trumpet, and I sing. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Uh, In fact, I, I was asked if I could sing here tonight. We're trying to get more of a fan base. Um, I mean, usually singing is for, like, special events and stuff like that. But if you want to sing, I mean, feel free. There we go. Is there a designated area, like a, a bar or a bonfire? I mean, we can make a bonfire, 
but we really don't like wasting that amount of wood because the winters get very cold. What if I handed you five gold pieces? Well, gold doesn't really do anything for us. What? what? You don't go back to cities and trade? What about this? Let's just go pull out the jar of preserved peaches. What's that? There. Grandma Kay's special fruit. And right. I'll be happy to give it to you. May I look at it? Yes. Right. He takes it and shakes it aggressively. Twists off the lid. It was a pool lid the entire time. <laughs> oh, wow. That smells sweet. Yes, and I'm willing to give it to you if you let me perform here tonight. We need to get the fan base started. Well, I'll definitely talk to someone, and he screws it back on and hands it back to you. About that, um... But I don't think that's enough peaches to feed everybody. Don't we have a second back? Uh, uh, shoot, I think two jars! <laughs> yeah, two jars. I think we have two jars total. One of which is currently in Moose's bag, I think. Now, if you are interested in trading for it, I will trade with you. And he goes over to the TP-like building, um, and, uh... The music plays as soon as he enters. No, he says a few words, uh, in Giant, yet again. And as he does, the door kind of slides downwards. And you see inside of here, there is a pretty large number of tapestries, fine weapons, uh, very well-crafted armors, fabrics, things like that. This looks like my home, almost. Uh, oh. Why don't you guys go to Leolus if you're having trouble with food and sell some of this? Well, this is our taxes. What? Yeah. Way. We give it to Leolis. All of it? All of this? Oh, yeah. Every couple of months they come through and they pick out a handful of things because they want money, but none of us know how money works. We're not very wow. good with it. Because, you know, to us, gold is a very flimsy metal. It's a lot worse than iron. Taxes should only be about a hundred gold. Not even. You're living in a cave. It should should be like twenty gold. Well, we have a very large amount of territory. Oh wait, they gave you territory. Oh well, yeah, we take up about twenty five miles. I don't think it's. I, it's, I still think it would be close to a couple hundred, not this much. Would you like to roll an intelligence check? Yeah. I if Sebastian know. was here, he could appraise it. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't <laughs> too much about this. Oh, that's an intelligence save. You mean Lucian? I don't think Sebastian can appraise anything. Oh, well, not yet. You're almost there, though. You're almost 13, there. 13, so... 13. I mean, maybe a few hundred gold. Like, every couple of months, yeah. That'd be reasonable, a few hundred. But anyways, if you want to put your uh, family heirloom in there, it'll be safe. Well, nobody touches this except, uh, well, there's about three of us. I trust you with my sword, Beans, and I put the sword in there. Well, thank you. I really trust it, too. You, no, put, no. you place it down, and as you're in there, just roll me a perception check. I'm curious. Ooh. Nobu's not wise. <laughs> Roll me a d100. That's not bad. You notice something in there. That kind of uh, stands out a bit to you. There's a mask. Dark graying texture to it. Very, very smooth and featureless, but it just, it looks. You open your shirt. Oh, that looks familiar. 
You have that mask tattooed on your body. Wow. Oh my god. That's eerily weird. I'm going to point it to beads and point at the face. Oh, so you lift up your shirt? Yeah. Oh, hey, would you look at that? What's it mean? I don't know, but I'll give you money for that mask. In fact, and he's going to pull out 12, 17 gold. It's probably worth this much. <laughs> um, simple. Uh, I really don't need gold. Um, I mean, you can I'll take it. the peaches, though. Trade the peaches for it? Okay. I mean, would that be worth it? Probably not. That's why I offered the gold. So how about I give you the gold and the peaches? Uh, sure, I guess. Yeah, why not? Okay, I'm giving him 15 gold and the peaches. Wow, way to be a stickler. Nobody needs some money. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, yeah. He goes in, lifts up the mask, and hands it over to you. Yeah, we found that on a, uh, a frozen over traveler. Kind of sad. That's where we find most of these things. Sometimes people need refugee and they, you know, they offer these nice things and we go, yeah, sure, it's fine. Wow, I mean, that's awesome. I could probably wear it during concerts and stuff. It would look cool. It Especially does look pretty cool. I, I mean, it's kind of creepy to me, honestly. Do you think it looks creepy? He's got to put it over his face. <laughs> Give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, God. Okay. Wisdom. Wow. There we go. As you go to put the mask over your face, you hear a voice in your mind. We can be together as one. And whoosh, you move your hand away going, uh, that's creepy. That is fucking creepy. <laughs> you, wow. you saved. Congratulations on making a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a sign of the apocalypse. No one passes in their wisdom. Um, wow. Oh my god. Can I tr trade back? Oh um. I guess you really want to. He, he's like, he's already like chewing on one peach that he pulled out of the jar. God, that's, that's unfortunate. I mean, I'll trade it back. I am so sorry. Oh, no, it's, it's, uh, it's okay. I, but I'll these win. peaches are really good. I will if you want it back. It's oh, just, no, it's I okay. One. I um, put my fingers in it too because I, it, it, it tastes so good. It's okay, I'll figure something out. It's probably gonna have to be like a sock puppet now or something. <laughs> Nobody takes out a sock and puts it top to the mask. The mask does not fit in one of your socks, buddy. It's a mask. <laughs> Maybe I could get Moose to sew it around it and put my hand through. Sure. Oh, well, it will be a good act if I ever need a partner on stage. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. He steps out and in Goliath says a different phrase and whoop, it closes. Or in Giant, sorry. Oh, Hopefully. where'd you get these peaches? It's really good. He's drinking it now. Uh, Grandma Kay's house right near Henrietta's farm. Hmm. Outside of Mida. Oh, you're from Mida. No, I'm not from Mida. That's oh, okay. my cousin's from there. Aren't you, Reyna? She looks at you. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Peaches. That is really good. Got any more of this? Uh, we do, but I, I really want to trade it for the stuff for the bonfire. Oh, yeah. I got to go talk to people about that for you. Yeah. Anyways, well, I got to go find my friends, Beans, but it was very nice meeting you. Hopefully we can get more of this. And maybe if you look for a seed in there, you could grow a peach tree. Really? Yes. Well, I gotta be good love. I gotta be careful about not eating it. Goliath's stomach can melt seeds. Oh wow. Yeah, we digest things really well. I mean, we eat things that people are kind of uh, ooh about. 
Moose pops up. <laughs> so can I. <laughs> oh yeah, you you eat glass too? Not if I have to. Wow. See, we had someone, you know, come through here once and he tried saying he could eat glass, but uh he got real messy. <laughs> I don't know how to handle this information. <laughs> Don't eat gra uh, glass. I, I, I never thought. Rain, we should go. <laughs> you feel... all keep walking, and you make your way over to the encampment where Sebastian's already started a fire and Palanda's already lying right cozy up next to it. Is Nobu carrying the mask in his hand, or has he tucked it away somewhere? He's messing with it with a sock in his hands. <laughs> Would a Dean recognize that at all? Roll me a religion check. Holler. Since oh, you are wait, one before of... Before do it. Yeah. Did we ever explain the once per, once per session? Advantage, oh. yes. Uh, in this game, every session, every player has one advantage. One free oh. advantage every session. And it's prior to rolling. That's why I tried to stop you. Correct. But 18's pretty good. Yeah, Adine, I'm going to message you what you know about that. What the fuck? In Discord or? Yeah, in Discord. Okay. I just I exited. I just Hang exited on. roll 20 for some reason. You are biscuit. That one. Your best shaking. That's I want to make sure I give you the proper information, so just give me a second. I have half a mind to just like grumpily walk over and like pick the mask up. You got more stuff for me to fix. <laughs> what is this? This looks broken. There you go, Edine. It's, it's, it, I don't know. It tried, I, I had a headache when I tried to put it on. I want you to make it into a sock puppet. Wait, hang on. Most picks it up. No, wait, no, no, boo. Where did you get that? Uh, their vault. I bought it with a bar, a, that, I mean, a jar of peaches, not a bar of peaches. That would have been weird. Uh, you have more peaches. I'll take them. Mo Moose, you have that jar of peaches, right? And I think. Sebastian might have grabbed the jar too. Moose, may I see that mask? He holds it up to you. She'll we ate my it. peaches. <laughs> Screw that. Those were good peaches. Why wouldn't you eat them? Yeah, I'm not keeping them as they go bad. I'm eating that shit. Well, they are preserved. They're good for at least like three to six months. I don't know that. These okay. peaches, you gotta eat them now. <laughs> Get that vitamin C, even though it doesn't have vitamin C. The vitamin P for peaches. Yeah. So yeah, Moose hands the mask over to you, Adine. Vitamin C for vitamin C orange. Um, Adine will like turn it over in her hands. Does she notice any like etchings or anything on it or oh, anything? Roll an investigation. Can I have one? You put your face on the mask. Like, can I go over there and look at it with her? Because I mean, he is interested. In sure. Roll what? your investigation as well. What? This Come on, what is this, Wednesday? Oh, I guess. Yes. The investigation. There we go. Oh. Adine did roll in that one, so you put the mask on your face. No, I'm voking with you. Um, <laughs> uh, you look at the inside of it, and there are etchings and markings inside of it. Um, though you don't recognize the language, uh... 
Nobu. And Adine, I mean, it looks like there's markings in there, but like, you know, face groove markings and things like that. It's nothing that really stands out to you. Ah, shit, you got a dust bunny in your eye. Fuck. Damn. I mean, I could get a better look, but I'd have to put it closer, Adine. But if it do that, you're going to have to pull it off of me if it starts to get weird. What do you mean if it starts to get weird? It gave me like a headache and I thought I heard something, but I took it off pretty quick. Most picks up the thing and just like go, it sits down by the fire and takes a bit of cloth out. <laughs> Here's a sock, Moose. Thank you. I appreciate you. I don't need your socks. Oh, I thought we were making it. Okay. I think it's... that mask is a symbol of Markov. Who? Markov, one of the champions of Solemn. Oh, you mean one of those guys on my chest? I don't think he's a champion of Solemn. What? Yeah. Zodiac. Yeah, champion of Zodiac. I apologize. That's on me. Oh, okay, champion of Zodiac. I say, we he got super it. excited. He's like, clip it, clip it, clip it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> While you're having this discussion, Moose is still making a sock pocket, a sock uh, puppet out of it. Yep. A sock pocket. Fuck it, it's in a sock now. <laughs> Sentient sock puppet. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean it spoke to you? Oh, by the way, uh, little fella, you look real busy with that. Um, you have, what's his name? Uh, Artisan come over and like hand you a fairly large ukulele but it is shaped like a ukulele ukulele it's just one that's made for somebody this size uh three of the uh, strings are broken uh, just whenever if you want to of course you don't have to i mean you could just do what puts you're down the mask for a moment it's like ah, i could fix this instantly. takes out pliers <laughs> just sticks his hand in his bag hmm. for a moment pliers and just, just like straightens out the wires starts, nice. starts restringing them nice instrument you got there well thank you I got it from my friend do, do you play with anyone? I play yeah until well, I broke it but while I sing and I'm trying to do a trying to get the name out of the band tonight Seabass oh. over there has been coming up with names in his free time haven't you Seabass? Damn right. We're we're trying to do a concert. Oh, what's a concert? When you get all they sing like idiots. Oh, we do that a lot. Oh, uh, where? I mean, usually when we're bathing. I don't think I wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's this one song we sing. It's a. Uh, it's raining snow. Hallelujah. It's raining snow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. You know it? Oh, no. I'm just... I can pick things up. <laughs> um, anyway, I've restringed it. Oh, wow. Um, Thank you. Be careful. Sure. There's not a lot of string left. You're going to have to trade for something new if it breaks. Okay. So, um, and he's going to like play like a, play the ukulele for a bit, which is more like him standing next to it as it's. Are you proficient with the lyre or any instruments? No instruments. Okay. Uh, just roll me a charisma check. Same thing as performance. Ten. Ding 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 ding. ding. Yeah, that's how you play. <laughs> and you hand it over. No, I'm just I'm just demonstrating how far it's supposed to go before you let go. Okay, so I just ding, ding, ding. Well, ding. you can play a bit faster, but you don't don't like rip it. Ding, up. ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I get it. All right, ding, ding, have fun ding, with ding, that. Ding, ding, he goes ding, ding, back ding, ding, to the sock pocket. <laughs> Moose, I'll give you two gold for those peaches you got. So looks over at you drags the drags the mask into his bag and just closes it wait what what, what? took my mask he's in the bag now 
<laughs> so you're in the bag with the mask? Yep, and I am making it into a sock puppet. Okay. Ah. Uh, Alrighty. But yeah, if you guys want to have a show or something, I guess you can, uh, you know, ask around. I mean, I suggest you go house to house and ask everybody how they feel about it. Maybe if we just start playing, people will come. Well, we don't want to disturb the peace. We're a pretty quiet community. Did anyone hear that? Hear what? The Huh? <laughs> More Yodel? Oh, I thought... <laughs> no, uh, this time somebody just took a fucking... I think it was a piece of plywood or like a bit of a two-by-four. Yeah. And started smacking it into something. Yeah, that's what you do when you're drunk. You find the a stick... Yodler. They're smacking the yodler. Yeah. <laughs> the yodler the sounds a lot like a piece of stone. <laughs> and we said we don't like you around here, yodeling. <laughs> Suddenly we're all ticks. And... Oh god, now I just thought of a Texan yodeler. <laughs> the looks of <laughs> the looks of blank horror as they think about it. So yeah, uh, Nobu, are you just gonna start playing music then? Uh, I think you should ask, but Sebastian, go door to door and I'll start setting things up. You're the guy for this. All right. <laughs> Palando, do you want to help him? Except I can't speak to anyone in here. Don't worry, Palando. Anman. Her. He's... Yeah, I'll go with you. He... All right. Um, while they're doing that, yeah. Can I make an investigation check as I'm just like making a puppet out of this? What are you trying to investigate? Uh, just see what it's all about. Like, he was saying that I tried to talk to him. Oh, that would be an Arcana check. Same thing. For you, maybe. Wow. Yeah, there's definitely some runic markings on the inside of this mask. Though the outside is completely well. featureless. I had a 20 perception check. <laughs> I mean, you got to meet these swell fellas. And thanks to Palando's pretty good, uh... It was Carl's. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. I'm not hearing it in my headphones. I thought I was hearing it outside of my window because my window's open. I heard like, yelling. God out. damn like, it, neighbors. Quiet that? down. I took my headset off and I realized it was Carl's. <laughs> no, uh, correction. They're not my neighbors. They're my annoyance. They're the drunks. Yeah. But anyways, are uh, not a welcoming, are not a welcome aspect of my neighborhood. But yeah, Moose. It's easy to tell there's runic markings on the inside of the mask, but as for any specific details about those markings, it's kind of outside of your realm of knowledge as far as magic goes. Oh, oh look at those twenties. Hmm. Actually, yeah, that was pretty shit. It's only the 20 uh, saving it from pure hatred. Sorry. But yeah, are you doing anything else with it? Uh, I'm not going to put it on. It smells like Nobu. He tried to put this in a sock, didn't he? <laughs> Alright, can I roll a we do I roll a weaver check to see if I make a good sock bucket? Yeah, I go for speak. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Puppet, yeah, I get it. Your accent makes it a little difficult, it's cool. I don't know, it's just my fucking brain. Alright. I was talking to a German in one of my interviews and he kept apologizing about his THs. It just happens. Oh, Z. Yeah. But yeah, Weaver's Tools, uh, do it. Dex, Wisdom, Intelligence? Uh, Dex. Okay. Um, For all intents and purposes, it is attached to the sock. And if you put your hand in the sock, it'll flop forward slightly. So if you bend your hand backwards, it looks like it's fine. Look, 
Yep, running out of air. <laughs> open up. Bag opens back up. At this point, Palando, you're at the second house. Uh, what? How are you trying? You and Sebastian, how are you two trying to get people to uh, come tonight? Well, we're mostly just checking to make sure it won't um, like annoy anyone if we play music. But yeah, we're gonna just see. we're gonna thank them for allowing us to. The shelter we want to try to entertain the group and try to make the evening uh more enjoyable all right roll of persuasion palando are you doing anything i guess i'm doing the talking because i'm the one that speaks halfway all right Good evening. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Lady Sunset? I mean, uh, no, no, wait, no. We're here for the concert. The concert. Hey, 26. Sebastian, you are being so wholesome and sweet, and Palando is expressing it all perfectly in their favorite language, which is halfling. And people are starting to get excited. They're asking you questions. They're they're engaging about the style of music. That's why I'm the manager, man. I'm such a good <laughs> Bring manager. it alive. <laughs> And Moose pops out with a floppy mask attached to his sock, and they go, oh, so we'll have a little bit of theater, too? Great. Yeah, it's kind of a one-man show, a little bit of everything, you know, maybe some comedy, some Ooh. tragedy. Oh, we don't like tragedy. That's, that's sad. Yeah, you know what? No tragedy. We don't need any tragedy. <laughs> comedy and music. Life is already Houses, tragic they're just, enough. They're carved out of wood, right? Not wood, uh, stone. What is? Yeah, the yes, houses. yes, 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 yes. Is there anything wooden in this? Uh, in some of them, if you stick around, yes, they do have wooden bed frames. They have uh, wooden, like, tables, uh, stools, things like that. Uh, Moose is just going to go around, like, knocking on a door. Do you need anything made out of wood fixed? <laughs> some of the people nod and say yes. He's going to fix stuff. Carpentry. Yay! What so, would that be? Uh, we'll call it wisdom. Get them all out of the I way am... now, everybody. All right. Damn. Nice. Fighting all these right. Goliaths would have gone to... poor for me. <laughs> That's right. We're not peace lovers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I don't have a gun in this game. Yeah. <laughs> yet but anyways yeah you uh you start fixing some things and uh kind of like holes every now and again someone comes up to you and goes excuse me can you fix this you go i can fix that and you go ahead and you do that you go yeah i can fix that too and you keep fixing things and it's so nice to be experiencing a community that's just so endearing towards you and how useful you are like everybody is super appreciative they're thankful they want to know about you too even while you're working like they they ask you every question they can about who you are where you come from and you know what they they really seem to like the you. answer to most of that is mouse yeah 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 where do you come from another mouse <laughs> uh, where do you live with the mice Wow, fascinating stuff, man. How did you learn that, mice? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> <I kinda did. laughs> the mice folk live with the Goliaths happily ever after. Every mouse folk learns uh, halfling as a main language. There is no longer common, just beach beach and uh, beach beach and halfling. The mice were at home all along. <laughs> oh God, I hate you. But yeah, um, you're gathering a fantastic crowd, and we'll probably figure out how that show goes next session. Everybody, I I'm not sure. Yeah, you guys in a completely different direction. After the bandits, I thought you might murder things more often, but it's okay. But anyways, players, thank you all for playing. Viewers, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves, and we'll probably be back again next week. So stay tuned. We'll see you around.
Wait, which button is it this time? Yeah. 